Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at scientific notation. Why do we need it in the first place? Well, scientific notation is really a way to write very big or very small numbers. For example, Avogadro's number. If you were to try to write it out in decimal format, well, first of all, you have to really keep count of the number of zeros you put down, and then it would make it very difficult to read the number. It is a lot easier to take a look at this and then notice at the end we have 10 to the 23th power, which means a 1 with 23 zeros. At least in a very compact way, we know how many zeros there are. When you write it like this, you'd have to try to count and try to figure out how many zeros we have there. Or, for example, the speed of light, which is 300 million meters per second, approximately. Well, we can much easier write it as 3 times 10 to the 8, where 10 to the 8 represents all the zeros behind the 3. Or the number of times that visible light oscillates, the frequency of visible light, well, that is 600 trillion times per second. Again, it is much easier to write 6 times 10 to the 14th. Or if you want to express a really small number, such as the radius of a hydrogen atom, well, we can write it like this, and then you really have to keep track of the number of decimal places, or simply write it as 5.29 times 10 to the minus 11 meters. So we're going to show you how to convert from decimal to scientific notation and back and what it really means and how it really works. But at least you can see there's a, definitely a need for having scientific notation. It doesn't only make writing a lot easier, it makes reading the number a lot easier as well. And that's why we have scientific notation.